A group show called Spring features nine Indigenous artists from the Northern Territory and Far North Queensland displayed alongside works by local artists David Paulson and Yvonne Mills Stanley. Now I'd like to tell you something about my art practice and this particular painting of mine uh, which I did a couple of years ago. It's included in this beautiful exhibition of spring paintings and I'm very honoured to be in this exhibition which is showing so many well-established artists. As you all know, I paint grass and have been painting grass since 2003. And this grass painting came about in probably a, a very unusual way. I was out in the field going for a walk and I was watching white cockatoos. And these white cockatoos were feeding on low grass that had grass seeds and they would rise up, hover, and float over, and then go down again. And they kept doing this, traveling over this, this paddock. And I found that quite fascinating. And anyway, anyway, a few months after that, I was thinking about the movement of those cockatoos, and I thought, well, why can't grass do that? Mullaney-based artist David has recently completed the arrangement of spring. It's a large-scale painting of cascading leaves and twigs on a grid of 48 squares, continuing his uh, fascination with colour and design. Younger borough-based artist Ian Waldron has on display Smoko, Chevalier Sky, it's a striking painting of seven horsemen against an evocative coloured sky. Ian says, every work that I've ever painted is anchored in the Gulf for one way or another. The horsemen are in fact his family working on their Delta Downs cattle station up in the Gulf. And from the desert, distinctive colour and sand painting designs. Left, from Uenda Mu, we feature a work by the late Walpri artist Maggie Watson Napangadi, Kana, Digging Sticks. In the centre, from Papunya, Michael Nelson Jagamara's very distinctive kangaroo stories. And on the right, from Utopia, A.B. Loy describes Sandhill Country. <laughs> 